And we're going to introduce you right now to two fierce young women who are making a difference in the battle against blood cancer. Yeah, so over the weekend, I had the honor to emcee this year's uh, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Student of the Year Awards. This was the end of a campaign recognizing some incredible young leaders for the work they're doing in the fight to end blood cancer and all cancers for good. So we had an amazing group of young students who over the last seven weeks have been working to raise money for LLS. And two of them are going to join us here this morning. We want to welcome in Libby Day, who was our Student of the Year winner, joining us live along with Ria Kona. She received the award for Volunteerism and Community Engagement. Good morning. Welcome to both of you and congratulations. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, Libby, I want to start with you. Just tell us a little bit about this campaign and, and what you all have been doing over the last several weeks. Um, so, basically, LLS Student of the Year is a campaign where we fundraise over the course of seven weeks um, just to basically raise money and uh, fight against blood cancer. What made you want to get involved with this effort? Um, well, I actually got involved with LLS because I have actually a very intimate connection with cancer uh, due to my sister, Katie, who was diagnosed with uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at the age of 22. Just the battle that she endured and you know what my entire family had to see her go through was enough to make me want to make a difference and support LLS in just any way possible. That's great. Now, I'll throw this question for, for both of you. Uh, what are some of the biggest things you've learned about the uh, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society through this entire process? Um, yeah, I learned that LLS is extremely passionate, which made me want to fight even harder. And they're so helpful. They have great fundraising ideas. And even though LLS is compromised of so many different types of people, they all work together as a unit because they have a common goal to beat cancer. Yeah, so, so uh, Rhea, what are some of the things that you did to help raise funds and support? Yeah, so I contacted as many people as I could. I asked my parents, colleagues, all my sister's friends, um, any local like businesses, like a mortgage company, and they were able to pro provide a large donation, like a bubble tea shop, um, any local things or any local events I could do, uh, like a Chipotle fundraiser. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's I don't wonderful. know if we mentioned this yet, but we had 10 candidates and their teams raising over $178,000. Wow. Yeah, so this was an incredible effort. I mean, you guys worked so hard. Congratulations. Over the last weeks that's to, great work. To raise very well thousands done. of dollars for this research. It's very cool. Yeah, that is very mm -hmm. cool. A lot to be proud of. Libby, what were some of your big takeaways? I know you said you already have this very personal connection to, to blood cancer uh, because of what your family has gone through and your, and your sister, Katie. Uh, but what else did you learn along the way? Anything about LLS that really surprised you? Um, I think one of the biggest things that I learned is that I just live in a community that so many people are willing to give to this cause. And I was just so shocked that, you know, a simple text or email um, would really just open the doors to so many generous donations. I think that that's great. Well, you talk about the success of, of your involvement to both of you. What would you say to somebody who's wanting to get involved? Uh, you know, how would they go about it? And, and what would be your word of advice to somebody who wants to be involved with LLS? Um, so everyone is affected by cancer in one way or the other. So I would say this campaign is an amazing way to fight for those who can't, to fight for your loved ones and to fight for a cure. And how about you, Libby? Um, I would probably say that um, to anyone who wants to get involved, that it's just such a rewarding process and the impact that you can make to charity really does make a difference. I mean, look how much money that seven, I mean, teenagers made in seven weeks. I mean, $178,000, that's just a crazy amount. And that can just go towards so much for LLS. It's just a win-win situation. So. It, go for it. it. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is. It's, it's pretty incredible. So incredible the work you guys did. And it is, again, just for an incredible cause, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, really at the forefront of cancer research and not just for blood cancer. A lot of the work that they've done over the last several decades has resulted in new treatments for, for so many types of cancer. Mm -hmm. So uh, lots to be proud of. Congratulations again to both of you. Well done. Thank you. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you want to learn more about the Student of the Year campaign, maybe you got some, some kiddos at home who might want to get involved in this effort. 52 weeks to go until the 2023 campaign. So mm -hmm. you can check it out. Go to LLS.org uh, to get involved with our local chapter. Yeah.